One might wonder why would any of us who works hard all day long fight our way through traffic just for the privilege of sitting in a car in a drive through to pay for bad food. Not on this show. You've just walked into The Man's Kitchen. Ah, today on The Man's Kitchen, we're doing one of my favorite. Thick, juicy chicken burritos. You gotta taste them. We're using fresh ingredients like chopped onions, lime juice, Mexican rice, refried beans, cheese. If you're in a mood for Latin American food, Hey guys, welcome to this week's version of The Man's Kitchen. Today we're doing thick burritos made with chicken. Come on, let's do it. Okay, so the best thing you can do about cooking is preparation. Preparation is everything. So what I'm going to do today, we have a lot of ingredients to help you rapidly make this dish. So in a minute we're going to go through the ingredients and what you need to do to prepare it. But we're making thick chicken burritos. So the first thing we need to do is to cook the ingredients or melt the ingredients together. We need a skillet. So this is a nice size skillet. Inside that skillet, I have about two tablespoons of olive oil. So that's two tablespoons of olive oil. Right on the menu, right there. Two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay? And so everything is going to be created in that pot. Now other things I may have, we have some Spanish rice. And I've already made that in advance. So we don't need to go through that. That's already done. That's going to be a part of it. And over here is some refried beans. And we'll be adding that as well to the dish. Okay. Now, let's move on. And refried beans, just on low. You don't need burning beans. They're already cooked. You don't have to cook them anymore. Okay, so to that pan, what we want to do, we're going to need approximately a teaspoon, one teaspoon of kosher salt. And to that, we're going to add about a half cup of chopped onions. So we're going to put those in there first. We'll go ahead and add the salt. Now that's enough salt to season the entire dish. It really has nothing to do alone with the onions. Now that's like I said, it's on a medium high heat. We're just going to dip, let that go in just a little while. I can turn it down a little bit. Those onions do smell good. Those onions always do smell good. You can't really make a burrito, a taco, a fajita without onions. And that's what we're doing today. Okay, so all the ingredients that we're going to have today. So we're going to let those, the salt and onions, go for a while. Maybe about five minutes. We're looking for a light coating of brown. We're not looking to roast the onions. We're not looking to blacken the onions. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. That is something good. So remember, guys, give this video a thumbs up. I hope you like it the way we separated it. Before all of these shows used to come right under the early morning show, but a lot of people kept telling us, "Hey, you should separate it," and we decided to. So whether it's the uh, man's kitchen, which we're doing here or the man's bartender, or the early morning show, or the salt of manhood. they all separate now. Okay, so let those onions work a little bit longer. Now, let's talk about the other ingredients you're gonna need. We're gonna need about a pound of chicken. About a pound of chicken. Now, the one thing that's different about this chicken, today I'm gonna give you all sorts of shortcuts. So it's about a pound of chicken. But there's no need to go out and fry the chicken yourself. If you know a local uh, rotisserie chicken place or the grocery store's rotisserie chicken, that's the best chicken to use if you want to do one of these uh, burritos real quick. So if you're a dude, you have the time to make all these processes, I'm going to tell you today how to shortcut it. So that's about a pound of chicken. We'll be adding that in a minute. We're going to be using burrito dough. about 10 inches. 10 inches of burrito. Okay, you don't want anything smaller than that. It won't roll too well. You don't want them dry out. You want them too wet. We're going to use uh, some Mexican cheese, and that's a combination of four different cheeses. Now we're going to top that off with finish with sour cream. So I've got some Daisy sour cream, but there's like five different major markets 
that sell that, you don't have to just go with Daisy. Now, the thing about burritos, you can prepare them all in advance. You can prepare them and you can store them in a the freezer. So you can put the burritos in a Tupperware or you can put it inside of a freezer bag and let them freeze and anytime you want to, you can thaw them out or you put them in the microwave or put them in the oven. But if you want to do it that way, don't add the sour cream if you plan on freezing it. You could have it for a whole week. All right, so the onions are doing pretty good. They're just about where I want them. Turn it up a little bit more. Now, the other ingredients we're gonna have, we're gonna have about a tablespoon of garlic powder. You can't make a good burrito without garlic powder, or you use actual garlic uh, itself. It's about three cloves and you chop it up, you mince it. But this is a quick dude's way. So about a tablespoon of garlic, you're gonna add uh, a half tablespoon of, of cumin in there. You can't make a Spanish dish without cumin. We're gonna add about four tablespoons of that tomato paste. It doesn't matter what variety you get, just don't get a cheap variety, because that's not too good. Alrighty. And also we're gonna add about a tablespoon of chili powder. And you can't make a good burrito without chili powder. <clears throat> so there's cumin, there's chili powder, <clears throat> excuse me, and oregano. The seasoning of the onions, <clears throat> that'll get to you. All right, so let's move on. Those onions are about the way I want them. We're gonna start to add some secondary ingredients to that. Now to that we're gonna add the garlic powder. Everything is going to move pretty quickly now. So we add the garlic powder in. I just want that to coat those onions before I add some other ingredients because you don't want a big blob of something somewhere and nothing someplace else. That won't taste too good. All right, so we already added the salt. We put the olive oil in there. So right now we can add the chicken. That. One pound of chicken, that's fine. We could add the cumin. We could add the <clears throat> chili powder. We could add the oregano. Now, I've always showed you before, kind of like mix those together because you want them to go everywhere, not just in one section. And that gives a dish color. We're going to go ahead and add the four tablespoons of that tomato paste which is approximately one of these cans, one of these small cans. <clears throat> it is all but one of these small cans. Matter of fact, this can itself will hold about, I guess about five tablespoons, and we only need four, so that is good for me. All right, so now also to that, we wanna add about a fourth of a cup of water. So that's water right there, fourth of a cup of water. We also want to add about two tablespoons of lime juice. So that is the lime juice. We're going to go ahead and stir that around. Now as far as the rice for this dish, you want to do Spanish rice, just like the chicken. If you don't want to go through the entire process of doing this, just go get yourself a box like I have. That's rice aroni. And they have Spanish rice. So that shortcuts it. Just like the uh, rotisserie chickens shortcut it. And you don't have to go through that. Hey guys, welcome back. And through the magic of television, the burritos are cooked. The thick chicken burrito. So now let's assemble it. And let's assemble it the correct way. All right, so you can go in any particular order. So in this order, what we're going to do, done, let me take about a spoodle full there of that chicken. I'm gonna make sure that that's spread out. Quarter size in the middle like that. More like a triangle, if you will. Just a little bit more chicken. Otherwise, you wanna have a thick burrito. Now to that, we want to go ahead and do any particular order. So we want to add a little bit of rice. Same 
medium white. I'm gonna add some beans. Try to put some of those in the front as well. A little bit in the back. Beans out the whole burrito, so don't try to do that. Now the cheese. You'd be pretty generous with cheese if you like. Now, the thing about this burrito is you want it to be nice and fat. You want people to have enough when they eat it. So that's why you see me compounding everything on here. It's actually, I'm just trying to make a nice mess. That way it's nice and oozy. You don't want a cheap burrito. All right, so now we want to go ahead and attempt to try to unfold this burrito. Okay, so what you want to do is slightly tuck the sides in. And in the back, leave more of a cup like that. Okay? I mean, you have it where you want it. You kind of roll it. What we're going to do is roll a little bit. We want that ingredients nice and even now. Okay? And you're forming a cup in the back. And at the same time, because I have an awful lot in here, which I like. You want to go ahead and try to roll it. Now that's a fat one for me. And we're going to do another one, but a smaller one. So if you're not greedy, let's do one more smaller. Let's just do a traditional one. Okay, we put a little beans, a little streaming line of beans down the middle. Remember, this is a traditional one. Cheese to that one. Put a dab of sour cream. And this is a traditional. We won't go crazy on that. Alright, so same way. Kind of tuck in the sides towards the back, forming a cup. Like that. We can also have our ingredients going down in there. Okay, so you want to go ahead and roll, tuck, roll. As always to you guys, a nice thick burrito. And the one I'm gonna have is even thicker. Mm, very nice. We thank you guys for being with us this week. Tune us with us next week. We're gonna be back in the kitchen. We're gonna top this one off with a light beer to you as usual. Oh my God. I'll see you guys a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and enjoy every bit of it. See you next week.